So let's say I'm going to create a web page. So in that case, I can go around over here and then I can type in the title that I want. So I'm just going to go around and say tutorial website over here on the top as well. But what really makes the website good, uh, good is if you have logo in it. And to do that, as soon as I type uh, or click here, you can see add logo option pops up. So all I need to do to add logo is click over here and then you can go around and here you can see a brand image is an option. You can upload out fave icons and you can go around upload out logo as you can see right here. So I'm going to go around onto the logo part and click on upload right here. And then what I can do is I can go around onto the drive where I have my logo. So here you can see that I have my logo right here, uh, the YouTube logo. So let me just press open and here you can see that this is what you have. So you can see that it uses the color of the logo for the theme as well. So you can go around and simply go around. So you can see that it has been set right here and the logo is here. You can also go to edit logo right here to actually delete the logo and upload out a logo again. So I'm just going to go around and select out this logo over here itself. So you can see that this is what you have. You have the logo right here, just like this. And then uh, depending on the banner and everything, you can see that the logo is here. It's always there. And even if you were to navigate around, the logo will still be there and it'll be seen in all of your web pages as well. And that is how you can add your logo inside of Google Sites.